Welcome back. I am here to update t h a n m o r e Jail Practice for iOS 13.5. But before we can get start, I want you to do me a favor. So on my channel, 87% of the people that watching my video are not subscribed, and only 12% that watch my video are subscribed. So I hope you can spend a little time to subscribe to my channel to see more Jail Practice and product reviews and so on about iOS. For the first fix, it is for Control Center. So if I swipe down Control Center right here, you can see on low power mode icon. So at the bottom of the battery icon right here, you can see the exact percentage from your phone. And my phone has 61 percentage left. For this one, it is very useful. So when you own the iPhone 8, and you can see there is no percentage, so you can quickly invoke Control Center, and then you can see the battery percentage right here. Now move on to modern settings. So if you go to settings and scroll all the way. To the top, and you can see we have the wallpaper right here on the top of settings. So you can swipe here to see battery health, and then you can see the capacity on your phone. So you can see your iPhone storage. And if you swipe one more time, you're gonna see Wi-Fi and cellular data. So you can see the full information about your Wi-Fi. And if I swipe one more time. So it gonna show my iPhone information, and you can see there is the full information right here. And then if I swipe one more time, we have the quick action where you can disable Wi-Fi, where you can disable um, cellular data, or you can respring, reboot, or shut down your device. It is pretty awesome. So you can customize the tweaks more in settings. So I'm gonna go to modern settings right here, and then we have module right here. So if you select on it, you can enable some uh, module that you want to enable, or you can just um, disable it as well. And then you can just go back, and you can also select the wallpaper. So you you're gonna go to this one, and then you can select the image right here, which you can see at the moment. So you see on the top that I have just show you. Cast o is a tweak that I have show you before in my previous video, but for this one it is an update version of Cast o which um, you have one more animation, so which you have uh, one new animation. So if you select on style right here, where you can select um, helix, and if you select on it, and now when you scroll across the system, you can see the new animation right here. For sneak peek, it allows you to see from your lock screen directly to your home screen. So sometimes when you lock your phone and you don't want to unlock, and you can just sneak peek from the lock screen. So let me demonstrate to you. Let me apply first. Now after my phone has been respring, I can just go back to the App Store, and let's say I lock my device from here. So I'm gonna lock my device. And then I am standing on the lock screen mode, but you can just um, sneak peek to see the app store from the lock screen. So I can just um, swipe up a little bit, and you can see we can um, sneak peek the app store, and you can um, quickly see the app store directly from your iPhone lock screen. And if you release, you're gonna go back to lock screen. And if you swipe a little bit more, you're gonna see the app store. And if you swipe all the way up, it's gonna unlock your phone, and you can see right here. Let's go to custom sound settings. So for custom sound settings, allow you to change the system sound on your iPhone. So where you can change um, charge sound right here. So if you enable this button, it gonna appear the um, sound here. So you can select the sound that you want. And then if you select on keyboard sound and then enable right here, it does the same way where you can select um, different keypad sound. And if you go to unlock sound right here, and if you enable this one again, it can allow you to select um, the custom one as well. Let's go to skinny settings, and for the tweak has been released for a while, and I think it is also a very good way to customize settings. So if you want, you can install the tweak, and then you can um, customize almost everything in settings. So you can customize separate cell and list. Where you can hide separate right here, and then we have a bunch of more options where you can um, disable no cell icons, and then we have color right here, so where you can select the background color as well. So I'm gonna enable some of these, and there are a lot of options, so I cannot show all of them. So you can experience it yourself. 
So to apply it, you just um, close settings from multitasking and then you can go back to settings and you can see it is it has been applied and because the text is in black so you don't see it Customifications allow you to customize notification and you can select specific app to customize and as you can see here I have select a message so I can test it as well after I select the app and then I can just send a banner right here and you can select how much notification that you want so I can go up to 4 and then I can just send again it's gonna give me 4 banners and you can see here it's gonna send me 4 times alphabet folder will rearrange the home screen on your device and you can see now on my home screen it start from letter A so if the application is in letter A so start from the letter A it gonna come first and you can see here so the entire home screen has been rearranged from A to Z right here we have the tweak for airports pro but for this one I cannot show you I don't own airports pro but for the simple tweak it gonna um, allow you to connect directly from the pop-up you can see when this page is pop up you can hold the connect button right here in the middle where you can click on it to connect to airport directly lastly move on to default player where you can select the default player and usually for ios version so it's gonna choose music as default so if you swipe down control center and click on the play button right here it's gonna play the music from music app but after you install this one, it can allow you to change the default music. So where you can select the custom one that you like. And for me, I'm gonna select on this one. And when I just swipe down and play, it's gonna play from that app. And you can see right here. So finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. One more thing, I hope you can hit the subscribe button to see more video like this. And you can also get this theme I also include in my video description you can check it out